adding video to your data really adds value when you're doing data analysis. But in practice, unless you're running an integrated system, it's unlikely that you'll do it, even if uh, you're able to do it within your software. It's just it's just a faff in practice, and I'll be surprised and uh, if any but the most dedicated people really combine it together. Quite often, people look at the video and the data in isolation as a result. So you might run the video and have that on a on a screen and just watch that, or you might just look at the data and just be looking for particular features in the data that will show you how to improve. But combining the two together can, can just be slow and cumbersome. So did you know that GoPros uh, can be a data logger? And I was a bit shocked about this myself, um, but it seems that they have pretty decent GPS uh, if you've turned it on and they've got an accelerometer uh, so you can start to sort of measure acceleration. Some of the kind of basic stuff that you do when you very first look at uh, your data analysis. So race technology, have made their software available to pull in the uh, raw GoPro data, which is potentially quite a revelation, to be honest. It's not going to be as good as your log data, and it's certainly not going to be as good as an integrated system. But considering you may already have a GoPro, and this is effectively kind of free data, uh, I thought it was really curious. So what I'm going to show you is um, how quick you can get from uh, just a video file to doing some data analysis and I, I, to be honest I, I, I'm just quite staggered at, at how quick uh, you can do it so um, without further ado let's get into it okay so here we are on the desktop I have imported my video file from uh, the uh, SD card in actual fact it's a sample file that um, I've got from race technology because um, I asked them, I said, well, well, I'm interested in this software, but I don't. my GoPro doesn't log GPS and uh, I don't want to go and spend money on a new GoPro if it's no good. So they said, oh, well, try it with this video um, that we've already recorded and you can you can have a look and uh, play with it. So uh, basically that's what I've got. Uh, some really nice cars you'll see in this particular video. But the point being, it's a normal sort of one chapter, four gig, uh, video file, um, but you know it's the equivalent of you just you know copying it in off off your um, off your camera. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take you through. It's assuming you knew what you were doing, how quick it would take you to go from zero to analysing data. So I've had a play with it over the last you know few hours this afternoon, and so literally I've just gone from 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 this point to to where I'm about to show you, and bearing in mind just how long just if you've ever done this before you'll really appreciate the speed at which this is bit going to be able to do uh, going to be improved so just bear that in mind uh, when we go through so here we go this is start the software uh, down here loads up go to analysis I'm not going to explain all the different stuff but I'm literally going like we've literally just come in I haven't registered it, so this wouldn't normally be there. This is just the trial software. The cars come in, I've got the SD card, it's sticking in here. I've got, right, okay, three options. Load GoPro file with default layout. Here we go. Now I've played around with the layout because I like it in a particular way, but you could obviously set it up however you want. So here we go, this is the layout. Um, you've got all sorts of things going on. So I'm just gonna click up here. Now my, because I'm running parallels, it, on a Mac it gets upset so anyway here we go review here is the video boom is this the video yes you'll see it's a really nice car um, so it's loading in and so it's all it's all I've loaded in is the video file from the GoPro that's it no other data file no extra data just the video file and this is the bit that's kind of crazy okay so here we are it's in Barcelona lovely Part of the world. I'm going to zoom in here because I don't have a start finish line. It's about here. So if I click on there, press Shift M for a marker. So yes, um, and then you sort of look at that. Look, we've got stuff going on. Zoom out. Uh, I've got all my laps here. I don't know if you're familiar with race technology software, but you've got sort of all your data traces here. 
uh, the map, the video. I'm just going to add some sectors really quickly. Uh, there's too many sectors to be honest, but it does it based on straights and things like that. Uh, but just for the sake of this, I'm just going to sort of click on that. So this is the fast lap if you want to see what it looks like. You can see, you know, I've got the where the GPS is. You can see the trace. You can see the the guy coming into uh, the corner now. Um, it's shifting down a gear. Obviously, you haven't got gears. You haven't got revs. You haven't got um, throttle position, brake press. You haven't got any of that. You've, but you do have acceleration, speed. And what we also have, because it's uh, the race technology software, you've also got time slip or delta T and all their normal um, metrics that you would take off the GPS data, which is like really fantastic. So you can really start to look at this as a data analysis project now. So I wanted to, so this is the fastest lap, but if I want to compare it to I don't know, the next lap here, you can, you can start to see if I do this click here so that little radio makes like the red one the reference yeah and so the, the red line here at the bottom shows you, you know, that's a reference and then the blue which is the other one is whether I'm faster or slower yeah so we're just looking at time slip here and so you can see like boom I've got two videos now side by side I can play them together I'm not sure how well that will come out in the in the screen grab but you can see actually look it's got a bit of traffic on the red one uh, going into that corner so that's kind of interesting um, what I've also done they, they have this uh, metric called time slip rate which is like the rate of change of delta t which, if you're not familiar with delta t have a look at the article I've written on it I'll link in the video below uh, on delta t but the point being is that, that delta t shows you whether you're faster or slower and this metric that they come up with shows you uh, are you um, getting faster or slower at what rate? Yeah, so you know has something significant happened basically, and so you can look here at the uh, track map, and I mean my eyes immediately drawn uh, to the red. So I've color coded the track map uh, with time slip rate, and if in actual fact, if I load up a few more videos, look, you can have all these you have four four laps all together. This area here. Is, is telling me that something is going on um, and so basically and I look uh, and even if I look down at the speed it's all a bit weird and look each of those time slips uh, something's starting to happen at that point it's getting slower than the, than the fastest one so I'm immediately I'm looking at data I don't know how long has that taken how long has that taken I mean it's just a couple of minutes and I've got all that from this is all a GoPro video depth file I, I'm you know I'm staggered I mean as I say it's not as good a quality but from the speed of getting the data from the camera into doing something useful like this um, it, I think it's, it's, it's fantastic so hopefully they will uh, enable it for a few more cameras um, and you know that, that could be quite interesting as well um, but yeah for the time being it seems like the GoPro is the one to do and yeah I just thought I'd share this initial thought and um, you know see if it's something could be of value to you as well. So anyway, okay, I'll leave you to thinking about all this uh, analysis and bye for now.